Hey, hey guys, welcome, welcome to my channel. It's Sean from Sean K Beauty, and today we are going in with my 20 top favorites. 10, 10, 20 top favorites for 2019. I'm looking forward to doing this video. Seems like you guys like this content coming from me, so definitely please share it, give it a thumbs up if you're new, and hit the notification bell and all the notifications so you're notified every time that I put up a video. All right, so let's take a deep dive into this because I've got a lot in front of me, guys. So let's start with number one. Number one is one of my favorite brands of all times. I really love this woman, her work ethic. She's a single mom who's taking care of her kids, but she's always trying to be a part of really great organizations and giving you quality products. And that is none other than the beautiful Christina from Jouer Cosmetics. Jouer Cosmetics traveling case. All of my makeup is in here. Guys, I absolutely love this. It is like a little suitcase and I get a lot of compliments on it. Very posh, aesthetically pleasing to the eye. I feel like I'm doing a commercial. Um, also is compartmentalized. So this mesh, uh, this dual mesh case can actually be detached and thrown into the wash. I actually keep my concealers on one side, pencils, uh, lip pencils, eyeliners, mascara on the next. And it also has another flap with zipper and opens up into um, all of these different compartments that you can put your makeup in. So I don't want everything to fall out, um, but this was a really great buy, guys. And I don't know if it's still on Christina's website. Hopefully it is. If it is, I would say, guys, get your hands on one of these beautiful cases. It's durable, it's quality, and it will change your life. That's all I'm gonna say about that, all right? Let's move on. So the next product that's my favorite coming in at number two is the Estee Lauder Double Wear in Saddlewood. This foundation goes with me everywhere. 24 hours, medium to full coverage, this goes nowhere. You need five pumps, if that, and you're gonna get a full coverage foundation finish with this foundation, if that makes sense. You don't, a little bit of this goes a long way. Um, it has won a number of awards from Allure. And I mean, it's an iconic staple. Everybody's heard of Estee Lauder Double Wear. If, if you haven't, Let's move on to number three. <laughs> okay, coming in at number three, and guys, this is in no order. It's not best to worst or worst to best. It is 20 of my favorites that I'm always grabbing out of this UA traveling case. So coming in at number three is the UA lip uh, scrub. This actually has hyaluronic acid, shea butter, a lot of really great essential oils. Quality product was 15 bucks, I think. It came as a set with the lip enhancer. A little bit of this goes a very long way. Um, just beautiful packaging. Christina does a great job with packaging and definitely a staple. I love, love, love this. All right, so this next product coming in at number four is from ColourPop and that is the Orange You Glad palette. You guys have seen me do tutorials using this palette. Now, I haven't used the top colors and this middle color Clementine has really chunky flecks of glitter. So it reminds me of something for crafting. I'm not a fan of this, but I do love You Peel Me Mimosa Mommy and um, this color right here, I don't know the name of it. It is called Tangerine, Tangerine Dreams. So I've used this bottom row quite a bit, but these up here I haven't. And like I said, this glitter shade, I tried it, but Maybe if you mix it with Mayron Mixing Liquid, it will adhere to the eye, but I'm not a fan of that um, metallic shade. Yeah. All right, moving on. All right, coming in at number five. This woman has worked her butt off on YouTube for the past 10 years. I feel, guys, do I sound like I'm doing like an award show? This lady, this next runner up is, okay, Never mind. Anyway, this influencer has worked 10 years on this platform and has dealt with a lot of hate, but also a lot of love. And she wants to bring inclusivity to the beauty 
uh, industry. And that is none other than the beautiful Jackie Ina. Jackie, 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 Jackie. I absolutely love this palette. I can say that she really did think of every skin tone, I would say, not just us, because I've seen women who are fair skin tones using this palette as well and loving it. Um, is very pigmented, guys. I have so many favorites in here. Wigglies, Pinker, Supreme, Credit, <laughs> Ginger, Edges, Shookington. I mean, the list goes on. So if you're looking for a so if you're looking for a colorful palette that's gonna give you a lot of payoff, then definitely check this palette out. It is by ABH, Anastasia Beverly Hills, who's also known for giving you quality eyeshadows. And yeah, this is just hands down one of my absolute favorites. I love the packaging. It's compact enough. I can put it in my bag. We appreciate you, Jackie, for thinking about women of color. We love you, girl. Like. It's not easy being an influencer and it's not easy standing for something that you're passionate about um, and dealing with a lot of backlash. So I give her kudos for pushing through. All right, so this palette I've talk, talked about a lot. You guys have heard me ramp and rage about this brand a lot. It is the Jouer Jet Set palette from the lovely Christina at Jouer Cosmetics very pigmented very compact on that 6 a.m flight you want to get glam really fast all of these colors you can use i'm using them on my skin tone check in cloud nine i use in my brow bone a nice transition shade would be um carry on or you can go in with first class i also use first class on my cheeks and on my lips black card in the waterline or cat eye or even a black lipstick um, this brown shade here, you guys have seen me use Runway as a lip liner as well as doing your brows. So very versatile, very compact and sleek and a great quality mirror. Even if you want to put on your eyeshadow on the plane, you can do it with this palette. So yes, this is my 2019 favorite. Guys, I've bought seven of these. This is definitely a favorite. I've given them away as gifts, but this is definitely... <laughs> A favorite. All right, this island girl is doing her thing with this line. Riri, from one island girl to the next, we absolutely adore you. You've worked really hard, sweat and tears. People can think just because you have money, it's easy. It's not. Coming out and being your own business owner, guys, is not an easy thing. It's There's a lot of sweat and tears that go into trying to do, especially a cosmetic brand that's trying to bring all shades of color into her line but I'm talking about this particular sun stalker shade right now in mocha mommy this bronzer guys I absolutely love this if you're wearing too light of a foundation and you need to warm it up pull some of that back a bronzer is going to do it for you and I did a tutorial on how to use a bronzer just bring it like a number three Start with the forehead, bring it down the sides of the jawline, underneath the chin. This is a really great buy. A little bit of it goes a long way. So thank you, Rihanna. This is the only bronzer that I have, guys, and I won't buy another one until this is out. So that's just me. I don't want to contribute to the overflow of landfills. Like this next product is an Estee Lauder product, and this is the um, Bronze Goddess Highlighter in Mirage beautiful rose gold shade love the sleekness of the compact aesthetically pleasing if my friends are watching who work with me they know this is so her <laughs> i really love packaging um most of us do right but i also love the quality of the experience of the packaging so that would be the contents that's on the inside so this is a really great highlighter not bright and with chunks of glitter, just very subtle glow from within, just really beautiful um, in its finish and finely milled so it goes on smooth. So yes, this is Mirage and I did buy Solar Crush yesterday. Sorry guys, I did buy another highlighter. I had to. It was just... They were on sale and I only bought one. In the Shadows by MAC, this is a beautiful blue shade if you guys can see it. Hopefully you can see it. You all, I had the first one 
and my friend Christy uh, was going to a Halloween party and um, I did her makeup and she's Caucasian and I, I can't even tell you how beautiful this looked on her eyes and I get a ton of compliments as well so that just lets you know this will work on pretty much any skin tone. MAC has always been known to have really great eyeshadows and this is one of them. Absolutely love this in the shadows. Lost the first one, had to replace it, had to get this before they discontinue because sometimes people discontinue and then I'm like, why? It is another <sighs> MAC product and that is one that I talk about a lot. This is the Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Deep. Absolutely love this powder, love the sleek compact and um, I can throw this in my purse, in my toiletry bag. I've already gone through two of these. Just gives a really nice finish to the face and sometimes when I want that no makeup makeup look, I would actually use this on my lids and this would be my eyeshadow because it's more like my skin color. So I really, really love this product. Um, Mac, please do not discontinue this as well. <laughs> now I'm gonna show you a picture of this fragrance because I actually took the um, the fragrance out and put it in atomizers um, and that is the Isi Miyake. I love this. This is my favorite fragrance of all time. I also have this in my Jouer Jet Set ba uh, traveling case. Just a staple. I've been wearing Isi Miyake for several years now and next to J'adore I always grab either or but Isi Miyake wins the race with it all. I love this fragrance. All right, so the next um, product that I really love is LA Pro High Definition um, Concealer. I use this to clean up my brows, as you guys know. I also use it under my eyes sometimes. My cousin uses this as a full face of foundation, guys. That's how great this product is, and it's only $2.99 at the beauty supply store. So get your hands on some of this LA Pro concealer if you need a really great concealer. All right guys, moving on to lip glosses and these are the only lip gloss products that I have and that is by Fenty Deep Gloss Bombs. This is in Fussy. I also got the mini and this is Sweet Mouth. It came with a highlighter called Sandcastle. I love those, but if you don't want the full size, go with the mini. A little bit goes a long way. And this is a quality lip gloss. So the Gloss Bomb definitely from Fenty has made it on my list as one of my favorites for 2019. All right, so this next favorite is a skincare product and that is the Tatcha Violet C. Again, I go for minis because I don't check in my bags. These actually go through TSA with me. This is a really great face mask. It's purple in color. A little bit goes a very long way. I've had this for a few months now. I do do my brightening products at night where the sun does not interrupt, interrupt cell recovery and the brightening effect for my skin. So um, I definitely say if you're looking to have a brightening product, try Tatcha. Really quality products and the minis are not expensive. So um, yeah, love this brand and love this product. All right, my next favorite is from Trish McAvoy and that is the black eyeliner. You guys know I talk about this a lot. You can see I haven't replaced it. I'm going to use this until it's done and then I'll get possibly another one, if not the Pat McGrath, but this goes on so smooth. It's super duper dark. However, there is a learning curve. Well, there's no learning curve. You just have to sharpen this a ton after you use it. And that's the only thing I don't like about this pencil, but it's still my go-to staple. Like I look for this when I want to put on black on a black eyeliner on my eyes. And this is definitely it. So Trish McAvoy has made it on my list for 2019. Okay guys, so another product that I absolutely love from ColourPop and that is the Ellery Pencil. You guys have heard me talk about this before. Really beautiful burgundy color, goes on flawlessly smooth. You can sharpen it. It's just a really great product for $6.50. And um, I still have a ton of product. I bought this like maybe four or five months ago. And yeah, look at that. I, I still have quite a bit left. 
My friend Ivan, who's the director of artistry from Dior, actually recommended this product, this product, guys. And this is the Dior Brow Show. This is in 002. I absolutely love this. Lays my hairs down beautifully. Gives it a nice light brown tint. Um, is worth every penny. A little bit goes a very long way. I've had this for a couple of months now. So I'm all about quality products where a little bit goes a very long way and I'm not becoming wasteful. And again, it's small enough where it's giving me enough product. This one is another Fenty product and it is the Pro Filter Mattifying Foundation. Guys, I absolutely love, love, love this. I get compliments every single time. This is in the shade 420. If you have not tried any of Rihanna's foundations, I say get a sample and at least try it out once in your lifetime. Um, I love this along with the primer, so both of them have made it on my list. And your makeup just stays put. It is a very medium, they say medium to full because it's buildable, but medium coverage really is what it is. And you can build it up to what you want it to be. But this is just a beautiful finish, very skin-like, and it does last a very long time. I work six hour days and this will last me beyond the eight hour point so i have normal accommodation skin if anybody wants to know but i really love this and i love the primer a little goes a long way um i have minis because fenty was giving out four free minis when you made a purchase and um i wanted to take advantage of that so i ended up with these so they have made it on my list Okay guys, so another favorite of mine, that is the Goddess Glow Palette. This is just a beautiful pigmented palette, finely milled, goes on smooth, quality mirror. Love it, how it's compact. And you will know the shades by numbers, so it's very different. Uh, $39 value, very sleek. And again, just a quality product. Uh, Estee Lauder makes some really great eyeshadows, so I'm really in love with this Goddess Glow Palette. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and give it a thumbs up, share it, leave your comments down below. Let the discussion continue. Tell me what was your favorite out of the list of makeup products that I presented here on this video. I'd love to hear what those are. Inquiring minds want to know. Um, do let me know if you recommend another bronzer other than the Mocha Mommy. I would love to try that when this one is done. But I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one. Happy holidays. Lots of love from my family to yours.